Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Tanya Stevens. I'm the face behind 50 is not old. And today I'm going to the beach. Well, not literally, but I'm taking you to the beach with what I've bought to go with me when I have a trip in April and in, it's all from Amazon. So let me show you what I've got. So if you're new here to my channel, once again, my name is Tanya Stevens and I want to encourage you to please follow me. Just hit that little red button and leave a comment below if you like the products I'm showing you. So today I'm going to show you the things I brought, bought from Amazon, uh, as I said, to go to the beach. Now when I go to the beach, I don't want to take my fancy schmancy costly products. I want something that is not so much disposable, but not so expensive that I'm going to get my feelings hurt if something happens to it. So, um, I a, just show you the first item I got here. And it is this tote. This is a raffia tote, straw raffia tote bag. This has got an amazingly amount of reviews. It is a great size. I'll try to have some photos and stuff for this for you, but it is a nice tote bag to take to the beach, go out to dinner, out to lunch, whatever you want to do. It's plenty big, as you can see, to throw things inside, and a couple of towels, your sunscreen, etc. And I love the way it does. It does zip closed, so that is good. None of your items are going to fall out. You just zip it closed. But I love this. It is a great color. It will go with anything, and you know, black, brown, any color. It doesn't matter. This will go with anything. So I really love this tote. And um, it's got nice stitching too. Nice heavy stitching so that the, hopefully the, back, the straps will stay on it. I've not tried it yet, but it's not that expensive. So I'm not going to worry if it doesn't. Second, let's go back. Let's see, I have on just a pair of jeans and a black t-shirt, which is my, really my go-to when it comes to summer. That is my favorite outfit for summer. And what I have now is this, which is actually like a cover-up kimono, whatever you want to call it. But this looks great with a bathing suit. I'll show you that in photos. And it's going to look great with this outfit I have on today. So I can just throw this on, wear it by itself, throw this on too, and have just a tiny bit different look. It does come with this tie belt, but I probably would not wear it with the tie belt just because it's not what I do. But I would wear this in my hair with it or on my, you know, maybe even tie it on the tote to bring the colors and the items all together. And so don't get rid of your tie belts, even if that's not what you intend to, to tie on it. Um, I might even cinch this because it's open. If I wanted to cinch it, I'm going to cinch it with a belt, such as the one I have on. Now this one is black with um, the rattan looking belt buckle round. Let me reach here for what I've got. But it came in a pack of four. So here's the other belts that come with it. You have the light rattan, you have the multicolor, which I love that with the square, and then you have the darker looking khaki color with the square belt buckle. Now what I love about these is obviously they're great colors, they go with anything, but they are elastic. So yes, uh, they will expand. I'm wearing, I think it's, a, I think they come in like medium large. I'm wearing the medium large, but as you can see, there's no holes. So I don't have to worry if I'm wearing it at the top of my waist, you know, high up for a high waist jeans. Therefore, I'm going to have it be smaller. If I'm having it around my hips, I may need every last inch of this. But all you have to do is put the, uh, once you put it through the loop, just push through until you find that opening. Wherever you make it, you're gonna make the opening. So that is fantastic. I love this. I could cinch this, as I said, wear it 
in my jeans like I have this pair I have on today. So that's a four pack, very economical, very versatile. You're gonna love that. Uh, another thing I'm gonna wear this kimono with is a bathing suit. Now, I'm not changing right here, but I'm gonna show you a photo of me at the bathing suit. So if you don't wanna see that, cover your eyes. Um, <laughs> this is a two-piece. Do you know when the last time I've had a two-piece on? <laughs> Uh, I, me neither. Anyway, it is a two-piece. Just showing you here what it looks like. Uh, you'll see it in the videos. But I liked it. The reason I ordered this one, one, it's high-waisted, but it has ruching. You can see that it has ruching on the sides, and so it creates this gentle draping over the belly. And that's where I hold most of my weight. And if you're like me, you know, middle age or so, then you know what, why they call it the middle age spread. So you really do start to develop once menopause hits, you get what I call an upper belly. So you will have a belly here, you'll have a belly down here, and that's not always the most flattering look. This kind of drapes over it, show, doesn't show as bad in the way the top's made. You'll see in the photos, it, um, it is a little bit more flattering. Now, another bathing suit I have is a one piece. And even though it's not black or uh, leopard print or brown like the leopard print item, it's still, the leopard print is versatile. It goes with anything. And it especially looks really, really good with like bright pink or bright blue or red. And so it's a versatile piece, you'll get a lot of wear from it. Now, I like the way this one is made. It's higher up at the neck. It is a halter style, so you can make it as long or as high up as you want it to go up here or whatever. And I like also that it has ruching in the cups. It does have cups, uh, soft cups. Yeah, soft cups, whatever. I, I think they're called soft cups or molded cups. And it has ruching down the side, once again, to help with the tummy area. Always be aware of the tummy area <laughs> when you're my age, especially. Now, ah, one of the things I have to have when I go to the beach, of course, is sunglasses. And once again, I don't want to take my couple hundred dollar sunglasses to the beach and get sand all over them. Because I mean, just touching them, you're going to scratch them, you're going to drop them, you're going to, they might get washed off in a wave. So I'm going to order in some cheaper sunglasses, some that I'm not going to, um, I guess you can see my ring light. I'm not gonna care if these get damaged, I'll buy me another pair. So I have a couple more on order. I'll, I'll link all of those or I'll show you photos of all of those. Those are really cute. I like to go wild at the beach and try different ones, but I love these. And another thing I do that a lot of us might not do when you go to the beach is I always wear earrings. I think it looks really nice to wear earrings when you go to the pool, when you go to the beach, the ocean. You can take them off when you get in the water if you want, but it just adds a little something. And these, once again, are not expensive. They don't feel expensive as far as like the metal. It is thinner, so you know, it is thinner. But that's what I got them for, is because if I do, you know, lose them, tear them up, I'm not gonna care. So this came in a four pack too, just like the belts. It has these, which are the longer version. I think, I can't remember if these are how they are. Anyway, this are, these are the round version. Then they have the solid round version in a light rattan. And then they have these that I haven't put on yet, which are squares, but look at the tassels. Now this color is more what I would call them ivory. It's not a white, but you can see uh, the size it would be on me. And it's dropped one. And look how cute with the outfit. So all of this mixes and matches, looks great together. Um, oh, yes. And since I'm going to the pool or to the beach, I want something that's not going to, uh, shoes, that's not going to matter if they get wet. So in this case, I ordered some Crocs. I've tried them on. I haven't worn them out yet. 
So these uh, fit me great. What did I get? I got a 10 in uh, US. So I ordered a 10. Normally I wear a size nine, but I hate when my heel rubs on the back. So I would rather them be a little too big and my heel hit here instead of here. So uh, I have tried these on, they feel great. They have the little massaging nubbies in the bottom um, and the good traction for when your feet are wet and the concrete's wet. You want something that's easily just washed off. You can just go to the little water fountain, the water shower, shower, <laughs> you can go to the shower and just wash those off and you don't have to worry about them being um, destroyed or anything. And let's see, oh, the last two items. This is not necessarily going to the beach, but it's something I would take on vacation. And it is a lightweight jacket because even in the most tropical places, at nighttime, when the sun starts setting, the dew starts falling, whatever, it gets chilly and I'm somebody who freezes. So I like a lightweight jacket and I think a denim jacket is fabulous. Now I ordered this uh, from Amazon. It is a Wrangler and I'll just tell you the truth. <laughs> I didn't think I wanted to order a Wrangler. I thought it would be hard. I thought it would be stiff. It's a name that we've known forever and I just still equated of it as they hadn't updated their styles. Well, obviously they have. They've updated and the material in this is lightweight. It's perfect for spring and summer. So I love, love, love this. I love the seaming in the back. It has like the princess seamings. It looks really nice. It does have the adjustable tabs on the back. And I just love it. I love the way it's made. I've worn it on the blog. Are you following my blog? 50isnotold.com. If you're not following, please follow me. Anyway, I've worn this several times on the blog and I will be wearing it all spring and summer because I love that jacket. It's perfect weight. And the other thing I'm wearing and I have put on the blog already are these Puma retro sneakers. Now they have the platform style that's very trending right now, very modern looking. So when you wear these, even though it's the retro kind of look, it's still very modern. It's a modern take on it. It's like a remake. And um, I like them, they're leather, so I can just wipe them off at any time. I don't have to worry about, you know, if I get them stained, I'll just wipe them off. And if they get stained too bad, then I'll use me some white shoe polish and fix them up. But I love these, white on white, doesn't matter what color I have on, these look great. And here's a photo I'll show you of me wearing the jacket with the shoes and a dress. I don't know why I don't have it down here. Also from Amazon, it's a little fit and flare. It's a little flirty dress, polka dot. It looks adorable, has just a tiny bit of ruffles on uh, the sleeves, but it is so cute. It hits an empire waist, which is right, it's your narrowest part of your body. So when it hits there, that's going to be a great look. And then the dress flows away, creating curves. I love that look. Now I'm wearing a large in that dress and I think it runs a tiny bit small. I've actually ordered a solid black version of that dress and I sized up to an extra large. So when you're ordering, sometimes you have to try to see what your size is. When you get used to certain brands, then you can pretty much know how they're going to run. A lot of times Amazon products I find do run small. So I usually err on the side of ordering up. And in this case, I thought large was ordering up, but I guess I was wrong. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed what I've recently bought from Amazon to take to the beach with me. And if so, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment, tell me what you think about the, the products and anything you'd like to see more. I hope you have a great day.